Hello, my beautiful friends. It's me once again, reporting to you from absolutely beautiful Bulgaria. It is Monday weekend, every day's weekend here, as you guys know, and it's still, you know, I was gonna say tail end of summer, but it is sure not. 36 degrees on my balcony today, stifling hot for the last, God knows, for as long as I can remember, just stifling hot. Um, uncomfortably sometimes hard to sleep you know I've been going out kind of at night uh, just to enjoy some slightly cooler weather but it's still even in uh, you know at three four o'clock in the morning sorry I've already told you this but it is still incredibly hot so let me tell you what's been happening uh, just the last uh, the last little while since my trip I've actually been really trying to just relax and and not do a lot of stuff wandering around sunny beach just making lots of great food at home hanging out with the cats and just sort of chilling out with some friends and stuff like that it's been really great reading my stupid uh, computer books and stuff like that it's been really great but as you can see behind me we've had absolutely absolutely no rain okay uh the, the bulgarian uh, weather scientists uh do promise rain once in a while because i can see it on my uh the ipad now has a really cool a weather map so you look at the a weather map on your phone or whatever it just shows you like this kind of oasis in the week where uh it looks like it might rain for you know for even a minute but uh the, when the day comes it's uh, you go outside and it's still just so hot and you know not a cloud in the sky as you can see uh so yeah it's really unfortunate because i feel bad for the you know for the everything that's kind of living outside uh, but you know there's nothing you can do about it i'm just complaining about something that i have no control over but as you can see you know uh just a few months ago yeah i understand it's uh it's the end of you know tail end of the summer and stuff like that but you can see just everything is uh is just gray and uh and you know just really so dry and so yeah just really dry i feel dry all the time um just when you come here uh yeah definitely come a little bit earlier in the summer if you want to explore some of these really cool cool out of the way places but watch out there's a lot of poop okay so let me tell you what's happening uh i have my bike with me today there she is i'm fully packed uh, I left Sunny Beach uh, a few hours ago, I guess around 2 o'clock or so, because I'm a lazy fuck. Should have been up way, 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 way earlier. But uh, my plans are uh, so far, thus far. So I left Sunny Beach, I went past the dam, so I'm heading uh, northwest, uh, currently towards Schumann. But I am also taking the absolute twistiest, the most out of the way road uh, the GPS could possibly find because of course that's so much more fun even if i'm going like 30 40 kilometers an hour down some of these roads i just have this massive smile on my face so i'm super 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 happy about that you know i'll show you guys you know a lot of the the roads here i mean these are really back 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 roads that most people who you know come here on holidays or whatever just never get to see never get to experience because of course you know they just take the main roads i understand why because you need to go places and do stuff but if you do, you know, I've said this a million times before, take some time out of your day and, and just cruise around. I mean, look at these, look at this road behind me. You know, a lot of this stuff just, I mean, it's so gorgeous here. Uh, a lot of this stuff has been uh, just completely, completely repaved. And, uh, you know, just whether you're in a car, motorbike or whatever, or even a bicycle, you could totally make it here but on on bicycle i'm not that far away and just enjoy this kind of uh this kind of scenery ah oh, just it is absolutely so beautiful okay so i got a few things up the sleeve i'm not going to tell you just yet because this video is going to be sort of a few little snippets um after Schumann, i'm heading up to the danube again i'm not going to be heading to romania or or anywhere this time i'm staying in bulgaria but i do have a few other roads that i have planned out i'm gonna do a few villages so i'll take a few kind of cool bulgarian videos of uh, bulgarian villages and some food and some of the things uh that uh, i like to look at and i have a couple three three things that i really that i'm actually planned for that are planned for this trip that are a bit almost time sensitive because it's it's going to be super cool so so uh just stick around for a little bit um and you know and that's that 
It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. I'm going to continue on. I got about 150 kilometers to, to Schumann. I'm gonna have uh, a little lunch there and uh, that's about it. And uh, you guys are maybe wondering about my tattoo. So I got a sketchy cat. I'm still thinking or wondering if I'm going through some sort of a midlife crisis. I think about it sometimes, but I'm not even sure what it's supposed to be or not. But yeah, like any, guy my age uh, going through some sort of a crisis in their head I got myself a naturally green cat tattoo in sunny beach and it was awesome uh, I like it and uh, that's the end of this story uh, so far and also as you can see I have uh, busted out the walls just a lot more comfortable uh, it's, be yeah, it's better in the winter time, but uh, it's uh, it's just so much, so much, so much, so much more comfortable. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, uh, the the backpack situation from my last stupid video, I actually ended up buying an Osprey and a Thule bag that has like two detachable ba bags. So this is actually the the outside part of it. And the other the other bag is like 70 liters. It's massive. That's going to be for my Vietnam trip. But this thing. Again, you can just detach it, so it's it's so comfortable for some strange reason. It's just a cheap kind of backpack, but uh, you can throw your iPad and uh, some snacks, some Pirinsko, and it just feels so so comfortable for some reason. I have so many different backpacks and so many uh, uh, small sort of day packs and stuff like that. Oh my God, you don't even want to know how many. Probably. 40. Uh, and this particular one for some crazy reason just fits me so well like it, you can't even feel it. it's really really light uh, it looks cool it's waterproof and it has a pocket for your MacBook or ThinkPad whatever and uh, iPad inside it's just this perfect size um, and it was very uh, just kind of cheap 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 ish so yeah you buy one big backpack and, and you get two uh, so when you're let's say going in a plane and stuff like that you can give the 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 people the airliners airliners uh, the big pack that has 90% of your stuff and then grab your small pack of course where your passport is maybe your iPad your phone uh, whatever you carry you know deodor deodorant uh, inside the small pack and and then when you're done you just kind of chuk, 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 zip it zip it up uh, the, uh, attach it back again and it feels like you have one one pack but you already know probably all of this stuff okay so Stick around for a bit because it's gonna be kind of cool. I think I, I'm hoping um, today we'll end up in uh, So it's gonna be Schumann, Rousse and probably about eight or so different little towns I'm gonna stop in and enjoy Hi -yo! Okay, so I'm just uh, stopping on the side of the road again. Just wanted to show you I don't know if you can see this but just how Crazy and twisty all the roads here are and yeah, like I said mo most of them are actually um, are kind of paved you know but look at this look at my my view here sorry about the wind again but of course that's just the way it is and look I am stopping Kojicho Kojich no and there are some uh, horses on the side of the road so I had to go say hello to them I'm not gonna approach them because they they can go like this with their front with their frontal legs so I don't want to mess with them they're having a uh, a really 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 awesome time okay so uh yeah that, that's pretty much it but you know just over the crest here obviously a lot of farmland and stuff like that but holy motherfucker you should see some of the houses like crazy villas like compounds you know uh just absolutely gorgeous and fancy cars and fancy people and stuff like that like quite a few, quite a few of them you know it's no garbage no nothing like that like there's i don't know i don't know who these people are but just some really really nice uh uh, beautiful homes uh, just uh, over the crest here um, okay so uh, that's that's that it's yeah it's a bit too windy but I get the idea my horses Ooh! I'm in the center the epicenter of uh, the village village here is called Prosenik and it's really actually quite nice I like obviously I love all these villages and I stop at every single one of them uh, to have a little snack and maybe have a coffee or something like that but uh, so of course the vending machines where you can buy yourself a, a Shumansko <laughs> of course well how could you not sometimes you're thirsty before work it's 5 a.m. you need a Shumansko before you hit the road or whatever you're doing and um, and you have a beer and it's like one level 50 or something so 
definitely went up in price a little bit but uh, it's not uh, it's not too bad but this place is bustling that restaurant behind me is just full of people drinking beers of course there's a couple of really cool uh, veggie veggie shops here I took a few photos uh, already but I gotta show you guys the uh, the peppers that they grow here and they're just absolutely beautiful I love these uh, old school you know they're, they're these old school government buildings I just I absolutely absolutely love them and here is the local bus shelter bus stop everything seems to be in pretty uh, pretty good order I love it I love it here and there's a school and a few other shops and lots of people just uh, again just milling about and these guys just hanging out so it's really cool now I went to the store or should I call it the super center and uh, I bought something that I've never bought before and it's weird chicken I have bought chicken like this kind of ready made before but it's usually big steaks or kufta or like uh, chicken things uh, chicken breasts and stuff like that but these are like chicken bits I've never seen them before I got a banana okay I gotta show you these peppers so these guys here are buying these peppers and I'm assuming you know you buy them in these massive quantities uh, and then you throw them throw them on the grill of course to make what to make the most famous Bulgarian side dish look at this dog and look how beautiful this dog is I mean he's just uh, absolutely absolutely beautiful I'm not quite sure what this is but yeah some of these places you know when you go up up the hills and there's some like other little towns you can see there's some maybe a mosque or a church uh, behind me there of course display the corpses on the sides of the streets and the trees which is really weird of course we talked about that before but also there you know there's some construction happening maybe some factory or maybe another shop or something but I love it I absolutely love it yeah so that's that I actually really like this little veggie veggie shop yeah so they have the the red peppers for uh, for Lutenica of course and they're really really inexpensive I guess they're easy to grow here so uh, it's a great place just to buy them maybe uh, even shops in sunny beach or Burgess or whatever they would come here and just buy up a whole big thing for you know 20 30 leva and resell it and of course why not okay I'm gonna eat my banana and some of my sketchy chicken and off I go boy okay so that chicken was like grilled and marinated chicken steak if it were to be I guess chopped up a little bit you know um, and it was super delicious it was like uh, almost like a soya saucy uh, salty very very cool so to the left of me as the as the village sort of continues there's tons and tons and tons of shops and new restaurants so this village is like this uh, gift that keeps on uh, that keeps on giving is really really cool but the but the nearest thing is the neat neatest thing is uh, what's behind me right now there's this kind of like a um, a road sort of a road stand I guess where uh, these folks are just like selling uh, metal pieces and uh, you know oddly enough they're selling vacuums and stereos and look how cool this is I mean look at the sound systems these guys have and the fancy vacuums okay so I gotta have to check it out I mean what a strange thing to see on the, on the side of the road yeah sorry for the for the wind but uh, uh, that's just the way it is I do I am planning on uh, buying a microphone and maybe the sound system always find the weirdest coolest random stuff I love it okay so I arrived in uh, Ruse safe and sound super nice and slow super easy I was uh, just really taking my time oh, I'm so sorry it's so dark less dark ah check this out so I'm at the, the Riga hotel and I've been here before it's so awesome so it's a super old building but it's completely renovated like it's maybe like Soviet era building uh, I can't really show you much but it's and it's right on the Danube 
It's awesome. Everybody's super friendly. And again, it's so cheap. It's so cheap. It's like 35 euros. And I get this beautiful, massive, massive room with absolutely everything. I'll show you in, in just a second. So sorry it's so late, but so one of the, the balconies, so they give you these like balconies on each floor where you can just kind of see uh, the city here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. But okay, so the way they renovated this hotel, it's so awesome because they kept the, the charming parts of it, it seems to me, but everything else is like super mint, like the carpeting, everything just awesome. But the restaurant, come on lights, but the restaurant and uh, especially the elevators, like check out the elevators. Okay, so, so all of this stuff is like super, wait, I'll show you. Oh shit, maybe not. But it's like super, 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 uh, retro elevators, so they're not kind of automated. You know, you have to you have these like big buttons, and nothing really opens for you and stuff. Yeah, so you can hear the door open. Like they, these elevators are like super. Oh God, I love this stuff. Okay, so, uh, anyways, but it's like just perfect. No smoking, no nothing, no fucking around, and uh, super clean, just spotless. So you have to see my room. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so again, it's like absolutely, absolutely massive. Look, I mean, it's really massive. You know, I try to get myself organized a little bit. Um, I brought my crap here and my book on the history of basic, of course. They even have a TV, but look, it's one of the super flat ones. It gets crazy, they just give this to you. But look up my view. I don't know if you can see this, but here, just on the right, that's actually the mighty, the mighty Danube. Oh, just about 10 minutes ago, you can still kind of see it, but I wonder if this stupid camera will pick it up. So you can see the, you know, I kind of filmed before th this walkway here that they super redone this area. It's absolutely amazing. And the weather right now, it's like, you know, I always brag about this kind of like that feeling on your skin where it's so beautifully warm. It feels like I'm in Thailand, you know, and, and j just like the, the temperature and just like the peace and quietness of, of things here. I don't know. I'm, I'm going crazy. I'm just, I'm just absolutely going, I'm absolutely going crazy. So the the trip here was was just phenomenal, just perfect. Everybody's so nice. You know, I stopped for for gas and a coffee and and just bah, a little bit of banter. And uh, the roads just absolutely perfect. Bulgarian roads are just getting better and better and better. I uh, had a few ruts and stuff like that. And lots of farm machinery and of course lots of. Uh, um, Lots of improvements. Uh, you do have to stop sometimes for you know the workers, but they are really fixing things. So fucking kudos to to everybody. So yeah, so that's my room. But okay, and then the bathroom. So the first thing I I have to do, of course, is clean all the bugs off my um, uh, off my helmet. Like it just gets really buggy, and even my glasses. To already use some. Hey, look at that. We're in three D. Some shampoo to clean my glasses. It's just like everywhere. So yeah, this is awesome. You can have a freaking bathroom party if you want it to. So on each end, you get this this balcony with these crazy views. Of course, what's happening here? What is this? How the hell do they know? Look at this. Look at this. The nectar of life. Cheers, guys. Holy crap. Mm. Oh my God, it's so cold. Oh, Peter and I love you. Okay, so look at this. So essentially my, my view, but you get to see a, li a little bit more, you know, to the right. And they have these um, tours that you can go and uh, restaurants on boats and stuff like that. I'm not even sure. I, I, don't, I know. I'm not sure. I don't know too much. But yeah, if you look at the lights there, boop, 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 on the other side, that is Romania. Uh, okay, so I'm here for, for at least one night, but considering how how inexpensive it is, my bike is super safe just down below underneath this thing, so in case it rains, of course it never rains. So it's super safe. The lady's so nice downstairs. Oh my goodness, she's so friendly. And um, I'm going to go for a walk in the town, I'll grab some sushi, and I actually find the city really, really, really pretty. Like, it's, it's really beautiful. Uh, it, especially downtown, it's very kind of uh, historic. Historic? Can I say historic? Yeah, 
ah, Rousseau is actually really beautiful. The main, you know, the main thoroughway where all the where all the Bulgarian folks hang out and and just like you know, just everybody's like wandering back and forth. It's very Ber Burgess like, but a little bit different. It's stunning. It's awesome. I cannot wait. I'm gonna finish my. Uh, Finish my uh, my beer, and I'm gonna go for a massive, massive walk and uh, grab some food and uh, rest my ass because my ass hurts. I've been sitting on it for the last six hours. Okay, more stuff to come. Tomorrow is going to be the shoop, the climax. One of the other super fun reasons of me coming. Uh, uh, to Ruse, it's actually kind of the icy on the cake right now, is to come to the train station here in Ruse and right in front of me is the actual Orient Express. So have a look. So this is the first time the train uh, is visiting Ruse in a number of years. Uh, because of COVID and all the other stuff. So they're here to do things like uh, passport controls. Passport control, maybe get some food and stuff on board and water and all this kind of stuff. So it's gonna rest here for about an hour. But this is the actual um, the actual train it has uh, it has arrived here from Romania actually right now but before that I believe it starts in Paris and it's cruising over uh, from here from Ruse my understanding is to Varna and then south I'm not sure but uh, of course it, it ends in, in uh, Istanbul that's the that's the trip and uh, you know it's uh, cost a little bit of money to to be all fancy like this the amenities are absolutely you know like way way beyond uh, five star I think if you want the nicer uh, the nicer uh, place uh, you know like a, a room and food and all that kind of stuff it's around 10,000 you know 10,000 euros so you definitely need a need a job uh, and uh, nice clothes not a two dollar H&M shirt and table manners but uh, it sure is beautiful. I mean, I gotta tell you, it's just completely uh, revamped. And again, you know, if you if you ever want to see what it's like inside, uh, they won't let me on, of course. Uh, but uh, check out some YouTube videos of how incredibly opulent these um, these rail cars are. I mean, just absolutely, just uh, as good as the uh, as the world, you know, has has to offer. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to check this out because I, you know, never seen this in in real life. And uh, it's incredibly busy like this. This whole town is uh, a buzz, I like to say that. And if you, just kind of in front of me, if you look at the train station, the, uh, it, it's just completely full of people. And everybody's kind of excited. It's kind of a, a festive day, festive time here uh, to have a look at this bunch of super rich people cruise around in, uh, in this beautiful work of art. So it's, it's definitely exciting for me. So I'll hang out here for a little bit. But look how uh, how busy it is. Cool place to be at the right time. I'm still riding the wave of the Orient Express, just kind of thinking, how amazing would it be? You know, you're just arriving in uh, Istanbul, it's really early in the morning. You're having your morning pirinsko in the really fancy shower, like gold taps. They probably have the VIP Grand Reserve pirinsko just ready for you. And of course, fancy meats and fishes and all this kind of stuff for your breakfast and boom you arrive and you know this I always say Istanbul is like living in a dream and uh, yeah you just arrive in this gorgeous gorgeous place and uh, start your journey of uh, uh, just uh, eating awesome food and hanging out so I'm just a little bit on the outskirts of uh, Ruse and I wanted to show you guys um, 
this is oh, I'm never gonna be able to go in of course but this is sort of where all the factories are and the uh, is cut uh, power generation plant so um, there is a massive 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 um, electrical plant here 400 megawatts or something like that um, that I really wanted to I again like I, I know for a fact that they're not gonna let me in obviously we're at war uh, these kind of things they just don't happen right now um, but um, there's all these little factories for everything from little widgets to uh, adhesives to all kinds of uh, you know just things that are um, probably probably mostly for uh, uh, for export uh, to other parts of the of the world of course and uh, you know just there's a lot of these sort of uh, th this one's actually okay but there's a lot of these uh, Soviet era um, old buildings you know from the 50s and 60s you know again I like to say heyday but just incredible uh, history here how people were working uh, building parts you know probably for for the Soviets that are just you know stealing everything from here uh, during the communist times so this kind of a lot of that stuff was uh, was actually happening happening here another thing I wanted to tell you guys this is something I just learned yesterday is that Bulgaria actually sells quite a lot of its power capacity uh, to other countries which is you know like really fascinating to me because the Belen a, um, Belen uh, a nuclear power plant stupid 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 never got to go uh, online even though the Bulgarian population there was a referendum here to get this up and running in the early 2000s but uh, was it money whatever you know there's always the stupid people environmental people which is the opposite right because nuclear power is pretty much the most clean the cleanest so those those power plants never went online but like I just love this kind of stuff um, so they're, they're just kind of sitting there I wanted to go take the bike and uh, and just kind of see what's uh, what's there one of the other reactors actually they, they shut down just recently from my understanding so uh, nothing is really happening on that on that front but this is actually coal-fired so there's still a lot of that happening uh, and it you know the whole facility facility here there's a refinery here as well I think yeah it's a refinery the whole facility here is absolutely staggering I mean it's massive and you know I'm just uh, just outside of Rusa just a little bit and the border to Romania I mean I could you know you could throw a leaf uh, from here across the border you know across the Danube uh, over to uh, uh, to beautiful Romania so I'm just really on the right on the kind of edge of things so I, I guess I thought I could uh, maybe get a little bit closer but I get the you get the gist anyways it's pretty cool here obviously beautiful summer beautiful summer day and uh i'm just hiking around and having fun and this is oh just it would be just a dream if if one of these guys just whistled at me and says and said to me hey buddy hop the fence and i'll show you around i'll show you the factory i'll show you the machinery and all this stuff but uh of course these guys can't do it and they have no time for a yahoo like me so we're moving on so uh, I just spoke with one of the guys here spoke English perfectly and just kind of explained to me that yeah just as I said there used to be a lot of different factories and he said they're just running a fraction just a small fraction of the capacity that they did you know a few decades ago and uh, most of the most of the firms that were operating here have have just shut down completely you just abandoned their their buildings and I just you know and of course there's also new new places that sort of took over the old places this is just a really nice uh, beautiful modern building and uh, yeah so the back to the communist times I just remember my because my, my father worked on the Baltic on the Baltic Sea that's where I grew up uh, with boats and all this kind of stuff so just all this crazy stories from the late 70s early well just the 80s kind of thing again communist times how the Russian the, the Soviets at the time would bring uh, you know boats to be revamped and refitted repainted you know and new engines all this kind of stuff how the they would just steal everything they would whatever labor the the Polish people would um, provide 
for uh, for the Soviets. Uh, they were never compensated. The, the Polish government was never compensated. Uh, the factories, the the people, just you know, if if uh, maybe you know marginally compensated if if at all and how they would just come and steal everything my dad would say like they would just steal paint uh ha half buckets of paint from the factory like these representatives would come nuts and bolts and of course their machinery their their drills and and their their lathes and this kind of stuff they'll just come and just take everything uh from from inside of the the building that he was working at and uh just ship it east no questions asked nobody said anything just fucking awful uh fucking awful and it's not it's not that different today just so you know but anyways just have a look here uh how how you know just how cool it, this would be you know back in its days and lots of people milling around and being productive and and this is the these are the stacks from the electrical electrical plant and uh it's just uh I don't know, I like this kind of stuff, so I thought you guys might be interested in uh, a tiny, tiny bit of uh, something a little bit different. Uh, but now it's time to head back. I'm gonna go back to my hotel room. I decided to stay one more day because it, it's so cheap and it's so nice and the cats are fine at home. And uh, I think I'm gonna park the bike now and go have um, a cold beer. Beer? I'm gonna have a cold beer in school. Okay, I wanted to come back on the on the cool balcony here again because last night's video was obviously super dark and uh, unacceptable in many ways. So I'm on the opposite side now. This is uh, Ruse in its daytime muggy, 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 muggy uh, glory here. So you know, I've never actually been up there. I think it'll be kind of a fun uh, fun cruise up to a bit of suburbia here. There's a lot of um, old style you know if you look back there the sort of the the communist era blocks and it's pretty uh pretty dingy where the train station is and you know that few square kilometers there just looks like he's been recently bombed just garbage everywhere collapsed buildings and all this stuff nobody seems to care but that's just the way it is yeah it's it's, it's actually pr pretty bad not 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 in a yeah just pretty bad but just look at all these sort of cool places here. There's a lot of apartments, of course, single family places. There's some nice little villas on the other side. You know, living this close to the to the river here, to the mighty Danube, it'll be pretty cool. It is 3 p.m. It is 36 degrees right now. That's how, uh, that's the temperature. And it's, you know, like I said before, super, super hot. But uh, it's it's really cool. It's really beautiful. I, I like it. Uh, I very much like it here. And there's a train that goes by here in the middle of the night at times and doesn't bother me at all because trains are awesome and uh you know it's it's quite busy i'm gonna go uh this is kind of where you pick up your perinsko here so if you stay at this hotel and i highly recommend staying here it's fucking awesome grab your perinsko here and then if you walk just down the street here it's downtown is essentially i mean it's a five minute walk and just these beautiful old buildings you know, I I really like it here. I, I I just I've been here. This is my third third or fourth trip here, and and it's really just grown on me so much. You know, wandering around yesterday, sort of in the middle of the night, just how absolutely gorgeous it is. It was quite busy yesterday too. Lots of people just hanging out. You know, Monday 11, 12 o'clock at night. There's people. There's one place. That, I mean, it was full of people. Just the the outside deck. Uh, people just having cigarette parties and having beers and gorgeous women and men uh, sitting around just like super relaxing this really hot you know midnight sort of summer weather just amazing 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 so um i will head into town bye for now wait 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 i filmed here before uh of course I've been here a few times. So this is the Ruse Park uh, right behind me. It's just absolutely beautiful. I can't get enough of it. I'm going to sit here a little bit later and read my book on this beautiful day. But of course, on the on the opposite side, well, opposite sides, it's surrounded by these beautiful buildings that I talked about before. And uh, you know, it's just so so incredibly fun here. I'm going to have my lunch. And then, uh, yeah, walk around a little bit more and just kind of read my book and stuff like that. I want to show you what I ordered here. So I'm at, I'm at Happy Sushi. You can see this is uh, just your regular, 
is it Tuesday, two o'clock or something like that? Here, I'm gonna go walk this way. I feel like an idiot doing this, but it's okay, I'll show you. I will show you how much fun everybody's having, including me. So, they don't have a Pirinska on tap here ever, but they do have Steropromen, which is the, the next best thing, of course, it's fantastic. And, I, yeah, I just absolutely love coming here. So I always get the, just whatever you call it, they call it the nigiri set or whatever. And it's just, uh, it's, it's relatively basic. Um, I like the, the salmon and they have little shrimps and stuff like that. It's absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So, uh, yeah, awesome lunch. I brought my, uh, my uh, my computer, my MacBook, and my iPad. So I'm gonna like open it up like a hipster, clock away at the keyboard to make myself seem like I'm uh, cool and interesting. Closing deals or I'm selling a yacht. I'm a yacht broker. That's that's why I am today. So all the uh, all the pretty girls that are serving me today, they'll approach me and say, whoa. You're not only attractive, but you also own yachts. That's my plan, actually. That's my plan. Thank you for watching this nonsense. If you have any questions about living in one of the last free countries in the world and the most relaxed, for sure, uh, send me a message. I am tel on Telegram and, and email, and of course, you can just send me a, a message down below. Whatever questions you have. I, I'll call myself about a 7% Bulgarian expert now, so the 7% the 7% that I know, I'll be happy to help you. There's a cat. I'll be able to help you with the stuff that I do that I do know. But uh, uh, again, take everything I say here uh, with a huge grain of salt. And uh, again, thank you. Uh, Thank you very, very much for watching this.